Good evening, good evening, pro wrestling fans of all shapes and sizes from all over the world. Welcome to another pro wrestling talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U2 The Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Okay, for this video, I'm going to do three things. First, I'm going to go over the updated results of the AEW Continental Classic Tournament. All the block matches are done, and we have our semifinalists from both the Blue League and the Gold League, which will have one more, well, two more matches on Dynamite to pretty much give us our two finalists that will compete at world's end so gonna go over the the final standings for that and then gonna do a double header preview for two shows from seedling and ice ribbon to close out 2023 two two final shows from both of these promotions to close out the year 2023 uh two shows i'm actually looking very forward to so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with AEW. I'm gonna go over the current final standings of the block matches for the AEW Continental Classic. And it's been rather interesting. It's been rather interesting, but we now have our semifinalists set from both the Blue League and the Gold League. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First, starting off with the Blue League. Here we go. Okay, starting off with the Blue League. Alrighty. Uh, one second. Alright, there we go. Okay. So. Finishing at the bottom... With only three points on a final record of one and four is Daniel Garcia. He had the one victory over Brody King, but four losses to Brian Danielson, Andrade El Idolo, Claudio Castagnoli, and Eddie Kingston. Um, of course, he got the win over Brody King. That was his final match of this tournament. So, at least he was able to get one. But... He finishes at the bottom with three points. Okay, we had one competitor that was on a roll at first, but then went on a losing streak. Finishing with six points on a final record of two and three is Brody King of House of Black. He had two very big victories over Claudio Castagnoli and Eddie Kingston but three losses to Brian Danielson, Andrade El Idolo, and Daniel Garcia. So started off strong, but then went on the losing streak and just was not able to bounce back. So it was unfortunate. It was unfortunate because he started off with two big victories. But hey, that can happen sometimes in round robin tournaments. Y'all know the deal. But six points for Brody King. All right, finishing with seven points with a final record of two, two, and one is Blackpool Combat Club's Claudio Castagnoli. He had two victories over Andrade El Idolo and Daniel Garcia, two losses to Brody King and Eddie Kingston, and had the one draw with his stablemate, Brian Danielson. So... You know, he's had, had quite a decent tournament for the most part, but I would love to see him and Brian Danielson go at it once again at some point and try to determine a winner. But seven points for Claudio. All right. We had one finish with nine points on a record... Of, actually, we had two. We had two competitors finish with nine points 
with final record of three and two. That's Eddie Kingston and Andrade El Idolo. We're going to start with Andrade El Idolo. Finish with a final record of three and two, nine points. He had victories over Brian Danielson, Brody King, and Daniel Garcia, but suffered two losses to Claudio Castagnoli and the big deciding one in Eddie Kingston. Andrade also had a pretty good tournament, but one key loss pretty much did him in from making the semis, and it was the loss to Eddie Kingston. And speaking of Eddie Kingston, he is one of the semifinalists that made it out of the Blue League. Finishing with nine points on a record of three and two. He had victories over Andrade El Idolo, Claudio Castanoli, and Daniel Garcia. Started off rough with losses to Brody King and Brian Danielson, but had a strong finish. And because he has the tiebreaker over Andrade, and it's the top two that advance to the semis, that is why Eddie Kingston ended up being one of the semifinalists. So, Eddie Kingston, still alive, and made, made it to the semis out of the Blue League. And then the, the top finisher of the Blue League, finishing with 10 points on a final record of 3-1-1 one, one, to also make it to the semis, is the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. So he had three victories over Brody King, Daniel Garcia, and Eddie Kingston. He had the one loss to Andrade El Idolo and the one draw with Claudio Castagnoli. So he finishes at the top. But this should be very interesting because these two have to face off against each other once again. And the last time they faced each other, Brian Danielson got the victory. So... Eddie Kingston and Brian Danielson going to go at it once again in the semis for the Blue League. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, probably Eddie Kingston might end up getting revenge and getting that, that victory over Brian Danielson. That's, that's what I'm thinking is probably going to happen. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, so Brian Danielson, Eddie Kingston, make it out of the Blue League to the semis. Now, let's switch to the Gold League. Now, we had a very interesting finish for the Gold League, okay? First, sitting at the bottom, unfortunately, losing all five of his matches, zero points, record of 0 and 5 is Jay Lethal. Really really unfortunate. I feel for the brother. I've met Jay Lethal. Feel for the dude. But yeah, suffered losses to John Moxley, Swerve Strickland, Roosh, Mark Briscoe and Switchblade Jay White. Didn't get a single victory in this tournament. It's a bummer. It's a bummer because he's such a great wrestler. All right, finishing with a final record of one and four with three points is the Sussex County Chicken, Mark Briscoe. He had the one victory over Jay Lethal, but losses to Jay White, Roosh, Swerve, and John Moxley. But yeah. It was good to at least see him get a victory, though. All right. Sitting with a record of two and three, six points, is Roosh. He had the two victories over Mark Briscoe and Jay Lethal, pretty much the two weakest. But losses to Switchblade, Jay White, Swerve, and... John Moxley. So, 
Got two victories over, over the weaker competitors, but lost to the strongest. So that's pretty much how that went about. And then, ladies and gentlemen, a three-way tie at the top to not only give us two semifinalists, but three semifinalists coming out of the gold league. All three finished with records of four and one and a total of 12 points apiece. And your semifinalists are John Moxley, Swerve Strickland, and Switchblade Jay White. Let's start with Switchblade. So four and one, victories over John Moxley, Roosh, Mark Briscoe, and Jay Lethal. And he had the one loss to Swerve. So, very good tournament for Switchblade. All right, Swerve. Swerve Strickland, 4-1. and one. His victories were over Roosh, Mark Briscoe, Jay Lethal, and Jay White. So, hey, he defeated both Jays. <laughs> and... Had the one loss to John Moxley. Um, a lot of folks may have Swerve as the favorite. May actually have him as the favorite. And then John Moxley, four and one, victories over Swerve, Roosh, Mark Briscoe, and Jay Lethal. And then he had his one loss to Switchblade Jay White. So these three will battle in a triple threat match to determine who wins the gold league and who makes it to the finals at World's End. Uh, to be honest with you, I would love for Swerve to win. I really would love for Swerve to win. Um, I really don't want Mox to win, to be honest with you. And I'd be okay if Jay White won, but I really don't want Mox to win. I really don't. But... I'm going all in for uh, Swerve Strickland. I would like to see Swerve versus Kingston in the finals. But we shall see. But yeah, those are your semifinalists for the Gold League. John Moxley, Swerve Strickland, Jay White. But yeah, those are your AEW Continental Classic results. Now, of course, whoever wins the semifinal matchup will face each other at World's End. And, of course, the prize will be for the AEW Continental Championship as well as the ROH World Championship and the NJPW Strong Openweight Championship. So, pretty much in the form of of a triple crown champion. That's the ultimate prize for the winner. So we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, they're going to do the semifinal matchups on uh, tomorrow's Dynamite, Dynamite New Year's, I think it's called New Year's Bash, I think. Uh, New Year's Smash, I'm sorry. So tomorrow the 27th, Dynamite New Year's Smash, they're going to do both semifinal matchups. And then the win the Blue League winner and the Gold League winner will face each other on December 30th, on Saturday, December 30th, at World's End. And uh yeah, should be good. Should be really good. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, before we go into my previews for both upcoming uh Joshi shows. Here's a quick word on the sponsor of this video, Game Beauty. Check them out. As you continue to enjoy content here at Blitzball Champ Gaming, be sure you take a moment to check out Game Beauty. Beauty inspired by gaming. Game Beauty brings to you video game related makeup and cosmetic products. 
you have products such as eyeshadow palettes, elemental pearl highlighters, eyeshadow brushes, liquid eyeliner pens by Akidaris, and even non-makeup products like graphic tees. They even have special collaboration makeup kits such as this Persona 5 Heat Wave Brush Single, Metaverse Bundle, and even a Phantom Thieves Limited Edition Makeup Collection. Also remember that Game Beauty provides international shipping of $60 or more. And if you use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to use that to your advantage. Now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Enjoy, and thank you. Alrighty, it's time to preview two upcoming Joshi shows that are both going to be at Corquin Hall. That's right, two big Corquin Hall shows. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with Seedling, and then we'll go to Ice Ribbon. Sound good? So, Seedling 2023 final match will take place at Corquin Hall on December 28th. So, just in a couple of days. This will be the final show of the year for Seedling before entering into 2024. And we got ourselves, we got five matches on this card with one of them being a championship match. So let's go ahead and get started with the preview. First match. Alrighty, we got ourselves a tag team match. We have the team of Itsuki Aoki and you, and they will face off against the team of Misa Kagura and Chi Chi. You know, when I look at this match, I can I can totally see the this pairing working out of Misa Kagura and Chi Chi. I think that's a pairing that may work out in this match. I really do. Um and of course uh you has been wrestling all over the place, so good to see her back on Seedling. Um, Itsuki Aoki, a name I've seen a bunch. So this is a good opening match. This is a really good opening match. Um, Misa Kagura, I know she's with Just Tap Out. She's teamed up a lot with um, Sumika Yanagawa. Um, Chi Chi, definitely like Chi Chi, you know, from Evolution. You know, Chi Chi's been getting booked a lot on different promotions as well. Um, looking forward to this match. I think this is a good opening match, but I'm going to go with Itsuki Aoki and you to pick up the victory in this match. But it should be good. It should be really good. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how well Chi Chi and Misa Kagura work out as a tag team. So, very interested in that. Okay, let's go to the next match. Oh, this this next match, this this should be a fun one. This should be a really fun one. Alrighty, we got ourselves a high speed tag team match. As we have the team, which is a team that I really have enjoyed since they have started pairing up. We got the team of Kakadita and La Pedita taking on the team 
of Ikuto Hidaka and Sugi, or Suji, which, however you say it. And, of course, with all high-speed matches and seedling, you have special referee Natsuki Tayo. Now, I'm looking forward to this match. Of course, you know who I'm going to be rooting for. Got to go for Kakadita and La Padita. I love their entrance. And, you know, I really hope they pull off the victory. I really do. I would love to see them win this match. But uh, it's going to be very entertaining. Like I said, it's a high-speed match. I assume um, Natsuki Tayo will get involved, as she usually does with high-speed matches. So should be good. Should be really good. But, yeah. I got to go with uh, Kakadita and Lapadita to pick up the victory. But should be a very entertaining high-speed match. All right. Let's move on to our next match. Oh, we got some, got some trios action. How about some trios? All righty. We have the team of Nagisa Nozaki... Mima Shimoda and Vinny taking on the trio of Makoto, Sumire Natsu, and Maya Yukihi. Whew. This is kind of a tough one. This is, this is kind of a tough one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say the team of Nagisa, Nozaki, Mima, Shimoda, and Venny I think will pick up the victory. Um, I do like the other team as well. It'll be good to see Makoto uh, in action again. Um, and also Maya Yukihi. Um, out of everybody on this in this match, I've met Maya Yukihi. So, uh, yeah. I think this will be a good match, but I gotta go with Nagisa, Mima, and Vin Vinny to pick up the victory. But it should be really good. Good trios action here. Alrighty. Let's move on to our next match. All right, more tag team action. We have the team of Dash Chisako and Arisa Nakajima. And they will be taking on the team of Lady Destroyer Hiroyo Matsumoto and Ryo Mizunami. Oof. Man, this is... This is quite interesting to see Dash Chizako and uh, Hiroyo Matsumoto on opposite teams. Because, you know, together they're known as the Reiwa Ultima Powers. So, wow, this is interesting seeing both these ladies on opposite teams. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Honestly, this could go either way. This could actually go to a draw. I could see this going to a draw. Sounds crazy, but I could see this going to a draw. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to say a time limit draw. Yep, I'm going to just take a gamble and say time limit draw. Because both these teams look, look like they can be strong. Like I said, I know Dash and, and Hiroyo are not on the same team, but I do like who they're paired with. So, yeah, I'm going to say time limit draw. I'm going to take a gamble. Time limit draw. Okay, and then our main event of Seedling 2023 final match comes down to this Big one. Alrighty. 
Your main event is a singles match for the Beyond the Sea Single Championship. As we have the champion, the sun goddess, Sari, who will be defending against formerly one half of Twin Berries, who were former Beyond the Sea Tag Team Champions, Ayame Sasamura. Now, of course, I say former Twin Berries because, unfortunately, her partner, Riko Kaiju, ended up retiring due to uh, injury. So, really unfortunate there. And, you know, they were former tag champs. But, this is a big opportunity for Ayame Sasamura um, to get herself some singles gold. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what, ki what kind of fight she brings in this matchup. I mean, she's got a tough opponent. The champion is no, it's no slouch. But, I believe Sari will retain the Beyond the Sea Singles Championship. I'm picking her to retain, get the victory. But, should be a great match. Should be a really great match. Great main event to close out the year 2023 for Seedling. So, definitely looking forward to this match. Overall, pretty good card. Pretty good card. That's a nice card to finish off the year for 2023 for Seedling. So, should be good. Should be really good. Alrighty. And then to finish out this video, we're going to switch gears to Ice Ribbon. As we have Ribbon Mania 2023 to close out the year 2023. Yes, I said 2023 a lot. This will take place on December 31st and also at Corquin Hall. So, should be really good. We have seven matches on the card, with two of them championship matches. So we got two title matches for this show. And you know what? I haven't haven't seen a Ice Ribbon show in a while. So I'm actually looking forward to, to checking this out. I just recently subscribed to um, Ice Ribbon uh, Live Plus. So I'll be able to uh, catch the... They're big shows going forward, so definitely excited about that. Let's see. Let's jump right on into the action with our first match of Ribbon Mania 2023. All right, going to start off with some trios action. Yeah, some trios. We have team number one. That is the team of Saran, Momotani, and Ane Furukara. And they will be taking on team number two, made up of Mayuka Kweki, Yuko Sakurai, and Yu Hanaya. Now, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a little while since I've watched some Ice Ribbon, but... Uh, a handful of familiar names that I do remember, especially, of course, Seran, Momotani, Yuko Sakurai, she's with colors, uh, Yu Han Hanaya, uh, Mayuka Kweki. I definitely remember those names. Uh, Nene Furukawa, I don't remember off the top of my head, so it'll be good to, you know, get a refresher for her. Uh, to be honest, I am going to go with Momotani Saran and Nane Furukawa to pick up the victory. But I could see this going either way. I could definitely see this going either way. But that's my pick for this opening match. Alrighty. Let's go to our next match. Here we go. All right, we got a singles match. 
we have Arisa Shinose taking on Yuki Minami. Uh, hmm. I am going to say Arisa Shinose picks up the victory. And this is just a wild guess, because honestly, I haven't seen enough of both of these ladies. I've seen them before. I have seen them before, but I haven't seen much of them. So this is just me taking a wild guess. So Arisa Shinose, I, I believe, will pick up the victory, but just a wild guess. All right. Ooh, this next matchup should be a great one. Check this one out. All right, more tag team action. We got the team of Akari and Yappi taking on the team of Kriya and Tsukina Umino. Whoo! This one's tough. This one's really tough. And the funny thing is, the matches that I've seen Tsukina Umino in, I'm used to seeing her on the winning side, you know? And last time I saw Yappy, she had a title title shot. Um, I remember she went up against Totoro Satsuki when she was um, Ice Cross Infinity Champion. Hmm... This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. Uh, I, I'm going to go based off it, just my experience with what I've seen. I'm going to say Kriya and Tsukina Umino to pick up the victory. Yeah, I'm going to just take a, take a gamble and go with, with that team to win this match. But I won't be mad if Akari and Yapi end up winning. I think both teams look good. So. Alrighty. Let's keep it going with the next matchup. And I'm actually looking forward to this one. This should be a solid tag team match. Alrighty. We got ourselves a tag team match with team with the team of Asuka Fujitaki and Totoro Satsuki taking on the JTO team of Sumika Yanagawa and Misa Kagura. Of course, those two were former International Ribbon Tag Team Champions. And of course, Totoro is a former Ice Cross Infinity Champion. Oh, man. Yeah. The heavy hitter team of Fujitaki and Satsuki against a well-rounded team of Sumika and Misa. Ooh. You know what? I'm going I'm going team JTO. Why not? I'm going to go for the team of Sumika Yanagawa and Misa Kagura to pick up the victory. Why not? You know, they were former tag champs. They're a great tag team together. They got great chemistry. Yeah, I'm going to go with Team JTO. Why not? Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Next up, we are going to go back to... We're going to go back to singles action. With this next match. All right, here we go. Got a singles match. We got Makoto versus Hamuko Hoshi. Uh, could probably go either way, but you know what? I'm going to go for Makoto. I'm going to go for Makoto to pick up the victory. But... Should be a good singles match. Should be really good. But I got Makoto for this one. Alrighty. Ready for some championship matches, ladies and gentlemen? 
let's get ready for some championship matches. All right, here goes the first. All right, for your Ice Ribbon, Ribbon Mania 2023 semifinal match, you have the International Ribbon Tag Team Championships on the line. You have the champions of Yuri and Ancham, and they will be taking on the team of Kyuri and Mifu Ashida. Now, I do know Yuri is another former Ice Cross Infinity champion. Um, Ancham, I know she's uh, wrestled for uh, Skibon. And I do remember Mifu, Ashida, and Kyuri. I believe they were on the, the last uh, Ice Ribbon show that I watched. But, uh... I'm gonna play it safe and say that the champs retain. Yuri and, and Ancham, I'm picking them to retain the, the tag titles. But it should be a good match. should be a really good match. You know, I haven't seen a... Haven't seen an Ice Ribbon title match in a while, so looking forward to it. And then the main event of Ribbon Mania 2023. This is for the top prize, the Ice Cross Infinity Championship. As the champion, Ibuki Hoshi defends against Kaho Matsushita. It's funny because I remember Kaho being the uh, one that impersonated uh, Tam Nakano uh, at, when she last wrestled her, which I thought was pretty, pretty entertaining. But got ourselves quite a championship match here. Uh... It's been a while since I've seen Kaho wrestle. And also, it's been a little while since I've seen Ibuki Hoshi wrestle. But, I'm going to say that Ibuki Hoshi retains the title. Um, I don't see Kaho pulling, or pulling it off. I really don't. But yeah, I'm going to say Ibuki Hoshi retains the Ice Cross Infinity Championship. Um, should be good. Should be a good main event. And overall, I'm looking forward to this card. Because like I said, I haven't watched an Ice Ribbon show in a while. So, great way to finish off the the new year. Checking out some Ice Ribbon. So, looking forward to it. But yeah, two great Joshi shows coming, coming up to close out the year with Seedling 2023 Final Match. And Ice Ribbons, Ribbon Mania 2023. So, definitely very excited. Looking forward to these shows. And yeah, I mean, one of them is going to be uh, in two days. And the other one is going to be uh, Sunday. So, definitely looking forward to them. But, that'll do it for this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for Game Beauty. And let me know... Let me know your thoughts on the AEW Continental Classic. Who do you think will win the semifinal matchups? Who do you think will end up winning the finals at World's End? Also, let me know your predictions for Seedling Final Match 2023 and Ice Ribbon Ribbon Mania 2023. Would love to hear what y'all have to say about both of those shows. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed rest of the evening, and I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.